You may have heard from this and other channels about banks shutting down local coin shop accounts, largely due to their heavy use of cash, which is bad enough. It's something that I've not really seen a whole lot before and has been reported mostly in this community. But there's a new troubling trend that's starting to occur with one major bank and some attorneys generals are fighting back and it's a good thing because wait until you hear the reason why this is occurring. This makes gold and silver all the more important. So stay tuned as we explore. Gold and silver are more relevant than ever before. Not only based off of the information I'm about to share with you, but just because it's wealth outside of the system. That is so important these days. And it's really independent of what happens in the economy because there's other factors that, that are coming into play that gives you all the reasons you need in order to hold assets outside of the system from which we find ourselves apart. I'm going to be reporting from a story from the dailyhodl.com as shared with me by the member of this community about what's going on with Wells Fargo has been abruptly terminating customers' bank accounts, according to attorneys generals in 16 states, demanding immediate freeze on lenders' alleged debanking practices. More than a dozen state attorneys general are accusing banking titan Wells Fargo of abruptly terminating customers' accounts with no warning whatsoever. In a letter addressed to Wells Fargo CEO Charles Scharf, 16 Republican AGs across the country accused the trillion-dollar lender of debanking customers in a political and discriminatory manner. That is going to be just the beginning. Wait until there's a central bank digital currency where there, not, where there will not be this kind of leverage. I think this is why many states are uh, moving to make gold and silver money again. This is why this is so important, folks. It's happening right now. The dystopian future that we've all said would be long down the road is really beginning, and it has been around for a while. This is just the latest incarnation of it. And I think things will only get worse if they were able to get away with this. Within the context, Wells Fargo decisions to debank Republican candidates and gun industry participants reveal a new troubling trend, according to the letter. Blanket prohibitions and policies against providing service to certain customers lead to the inevitable question, who is next? What types of companies or people will Wells Fargo determine cannot be allowed as customers? Is this why is this why Wells Fargo apparently closed the accounts of former Republican candidates Lauren Witzke and Pete Debroska on the same day in 2021? The AG say the alleged pattern may be in violation of state laws. Wells Fargo should cease its efforts to discriminate based on ESG, which is environmental, social, and corporate governance objectives, and publicly commit to serving Americans in a fair, non-discriminatory, and lawful manner. States possess meaningful authority over banks under civil rights and unfair and deceptive acts and practices, according to UDAP statutes. Folks, this is really bad news that they would even consider this, but look at what ESG is about. ESG has been a bad thing since it really started meandering its way into much of the uh, corporate white papers and mission statements of these companies around the world. Some of the biggest companies in the world adhere to this, mainly to get these government contracts, and but also there is an agenda involved as well. And uh, Wells Fargo is one of those big banks it certainly is a part of a Bank of America, too. Another bad company would never do any business with, with Bank of America. Certainly not Wells Fargo, especially after this. Now, the 16 attorneys general end the letter asking Wells Fargo to stop its debanking policies and respond to its concerns by the 4th of April. That's coming up in days from now. We'll see what happens uh, in that response to see if any of them respond. Uh, the article goes on to mention the, uh, those attorneys general in those states. We're not going to go through that list, but you'll notice it's all Republicans. 
and that and you know I hate to say it, but partisan politics plays a role here. Uh, no question about it. But the thing is, is what happens if the SG is turned on its face and they go after Democrats? I don't think they should go after anyone, no matter their political stripe or their feelings on any given issue. I think it's ridiculous. And that's not what uh, corporate and business and banking is about, as long as they're not doing anything illegal. This is why I believe that both prudent Republicans and Democrats, liberals and conservatives, big government, small government types, progressives, no matter what your political stripe or leaning is, uh, many of you, and I know there's a good variety of folks that watch this channel, and I have a few and a, a, barely, a fairly good number of folks, folks that consider themselves middle of the road or even far left Democrats. They believe in gold and silver too. Because in the end, it protects us from whatever kind of government that could get in, into play. Because it could very easily be uh, a, uh, a conservative or Republican that goes after Democrats. And to me, that's just as appalling uh, to be to debank or to cancel anybody, to cancel accounts for those who bank uh, just because of your political leanings. It's bad news. This is why gold and silver are so important. Uh, I can't say it enough. And, you know, and you know, we already have an ever-inflating dollar that's losing value by the day now. And inflation has ticked up again, according to the latest numbers. The Federal Reserve is going to be meeting very soon and likely they're going to leave rates unchanged. But then that, that, that may not be enough to uh, keep inflation back or to pull it, scale it back. Disinflation has paused for now. Inflation is ticking up again. And it affects people of all political stripes. So this is why gold and silver are so important as a hedge against economic instability. But even more importantly, with this story, gold and silver are there to protect you against your government. Yes, indeed, because gold and silver in your hands is money that is private. It is not tracked, traceable, and it can be utilized for transactions between two agreeing parties in the in this scale or in the in other forms, such as constitutional silver, gold arm notes, and the type. You know, there's a lot of different ways and of ways to be able to accumulate gold, different sizes, silver as well. But in the end, we know that they these are uh, metals of value and stores of value that have stood the test of time. And even though its price may fluctuate, having the value of of your wealth outside of the system, or a portion of it, I think is uh, inescapably um, invaluable. And that is, I think, a, a good benefit for those of you who hold and, and really take your privacy very seriously. Because in this day and age, in this information age, there's not much that's private, that's for sure. Even the blockchain for cryptocurrencies, although it is very secure, um, it does have a ledger of transactions at some point. I and mean, it's very difficult to get back to you, but still there is a paper trail, if you will, or a digital trail. There's none of that with gold and silver. Now, obviously, if you buy gold and silver, utilizing an e-check or credit card, there is a paper trail there, but or an electronic trail. But if you just sell your metals or you lose them inside of a deep volcano or a boating accident is the common one, um, no one really knows for sure if you have that gold or silver or not, uh, which leaves it to essentially a single party risk, which is still a risk, risk of theft, but uh, you keep it safe, you keep it secure. And, uh, but you keep it secure, especially when you have it in your hands, especially if you buy it using cash uh, whether well, there's nothing at all, no one knows whether or not you have that gold and silver. Then you have yourself something that is an asset that is uh, has this value that you can utilize. You can use it as a savings vehicle outside of the system because the system is not for us. That's for sure. And, and even when you think your side, your political side is in charge, uh, they will use it to their advantage because, you know, politicians they love power. Big corporations love to be in bed with those with, with power so that they can gain more power too. And it's all over you, the individual. And I believe in the individual. I believe in people of all political stripes. In this case, it happens to be that the ESG is working against Republicans. 
but it very well could work against Democrats too. So always keep that in mind. So that's why, and another reason to have gold and silver in your portfolio, at least a portion of it there, not as an investment, but as a safety measure to protect yourself against what's going on. Because if you become debanked without warning, uh, that's bad news for you. You have to find another bank and who knows what happens to that cash? Who knows if you can even get to it? I don't know the, the particulars and how this has worked with these two politicians uh, and others that have been debanked without warning. So we'll see how that plays out. But it could be happen to any bank at any time or your money could be lost. Who knows? With uh, central bank digital currencies, uh, we are essentially seeing a precursor to that in real time here. This is akin to what happened with the Canadian truckers. Uh, same type of deal. It's just happening here in the United States of America. What a shame. Gold and silver, get you some. Hold on. And remember, gold and silver have been money. They're private and they are secure. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational. Would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.